Now let's talk about what's going on in the tropics. I am looking at an area of disturbed weather, a tropical wave over portions of the Yucatan Peninsula in Vest 91. It is expected to drift northward into the Gulf of Mexico by midweek. It is moving north northwest at five miles per hour, so it's moving very slowly and it has winds of 25 miles per hour. Now the National Hurricane Center has highlighted this area here in the yellow because that's where we're expecting slow development. So it's going to gradually develop in that area. I've been looking at long range models. A few things are working against this area of concern. We have a lot of dry air in the atmosphere, also wind shear will potentially keep it weak. So again, this particular model shows that area, again, the available moisture with that disturbed weather. Moving into the Gulf of Mexico as we head into tomorrow night and also Tuesday, it's going to try to organize some, but as I mentioned before, the atmosphere won't be conducive for a whole lot of strengthening. So if, if it does strengthen into anything, probably a depression, a tropical storm, but it is going to be a rainmaker along the Gulf Coast because we'll have a frontal boundary move through the area Wednesday, and that's going to squeeze that available moisture over portions of the Gulf Coast. So right now we're thinking either Southeast Louisiana, stretching into Southern Mississippi and Alabama, even uh, the Panhandle could see heavy rain. Again, this is Wednesday into our Thursday. So again, we'll continue to watch it, but you can see the wind share will be present as that system tries to develop. So it is gonna bump up our rain chances as we head into our Tuesday, Wednesday, and also Thursday morning, and we're looking pretty dry as we head into the upcoming weekend. So many areas could potentially get between one to three inches of rain with locally higher amounts as we head into midweek. Also, we have a hurricane uh, churning in the Atlantic Basin. You could clearly see that well-defined eye, Hurricane Larry. Again, not a threat to any land right now. It is moving to the northwest at 14 miles per hour with maximum wind gusts, or winds wet rather, uh, of 120 miles per hour. And it looks pretty good on satellite. Again, the projection keeps it out to sea. It's going to hold on to its hurricane status through most of the week. And it looks like it could potentially affect Bermuda as we head into Thursday and also Friday as a major hurricane. Again, not a threat to the Gulf Coast. So here